Hey everybody, we're standing in front of some high mountain quinoa right after the county smashed our mailbox and we're going to be harvesting this. It's well beyond harvest. It's not hard to harvest quinoa. You could have done it a little earlier than this, uh, but the leaves are completely dry here and then the seed heads are also completely dry. A lot of people, if they're, uh, they don't know if it's really ready, will cut it and then just hang it in the garage for a couple weeks and then you know it's dry. So this is definitely dry and you could just pull it off with your hand like that. So I'm basically just gonna strip these into this pan here. And I'm gonna leave the tops. And uh, Alan, if you come down here, you can see as I'm dropping this in here, can we get a close up in here? You can see the quinoa right there. The quinoa is, are these tan objects, the circular ones, and they're right inside the seed heads. And a couple ways to separate this is to just blow it away, blow the chaff away, and you can see the quinoa is all left there. Another good way to do it, uh, you wanna come back up here as we harvest, is to take your quinoa uh, when it's all ground up and you could just dump it into a bowl of cold water, the amount you want to use, and the chaff will float on the top of the water and the quinoa will sink down. You're going to be boiling the quinoa anyway. That's a great way to do it. Uh, but the yield on this is pretty high. First time we ever grew quinoa, and it's a very long season plant, and we had the, one of the shortest years ever, but we got quinoa. We have enough quinoa in here Man, we have enough quinoa in here to plant 10 times the amount we had this year. Uh, and we're just going to keep going onward and upward. Look at that. Gorgeous.